we are going to break down Drake's emotionless. Drake emotionless. So is that even a word? Is, huh, is he singing? Emotionless is a word. <laughs> it what is? Is, so is, he <laughs> is he singing in the song? He's not. Well, you know. No, ah, no, 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 no. It's What's up, young scholars? This is your boy, Dr. J.L. Adolph from Lincoln University, uh, professor of African-American literature and um, hip-hop culture. And right now, we're going to break down Drake's emotionless. Here at the Dad Cypher, what we do is decode fatherhood and hip-hop lyricism. So we're going to talk about this topic of fatherhood and social media and how it all plays out in Drake emotionless. So in this first part of the song, uh, it looks like Drake is talking about how people are living like a false life on social media, uh, so much to the point that they can't really be happy. They're like showing a false image out on social media, like they're living this happy life, that they're traveling, that they're doing all this thing, but in actuality, they are really depressed and sad. Do you feel like you have to live like a false life on social media because you guys are beginning to be little stars on YouTube station on the YouTube channel and that sort of thing do you feel like it's a need to um, you like live this sort of false life or that sort of thing or no, why I, I mean, mostly because they say I don't I don't think anyone tries to act fake on social media um, well some people do I don't feel the need to take it uh, a step further we know that social media has its own life. You know what I mean? It's like kids today, like they are cyber bullied. And in this particular song, I know it, we got cyber bullied though. Yeah, yeah my, my, someone made a point on my bus. They're like, if you get cyber bullied, you kind of asking for it because there's a block button. Yeah. Yeah, you know but you know what? But still, some kids feel that need to be. They, I guess, they suffer from really, really. Uh, low self esteem, or the, they keep and, themselves in a situation. I mean, no. you, can, you can block some people. No, it's not about that. I think kids are feeling low self esteem for the most part because um, they want people to like, especially at your age, and I would say even people my age, everybody wants to be liked. And so when you have social media and people are putting up pictures on Instagram to show where they are, all of this, it, it seems like a need. It seems like everybody is fighting to be liked. And they use in social media to try to feel good about themselves. I mean, some people, and you can see, you know, some people are trying to be liked. I, just, me personally, yeah. I don't care. If, like, I don't care. Yeah, like my personality, people like me anyway, so I don't care. Yeah, but it is kind of tough, I think, for some kids, especially like myself. I kind of grew up a little bit uh, with lower self esteem, so I think if I would have been your age and had social media, I would have tried to do some things to get people to like me at first. It takes years to build a thick enough skin to realize that hey, you don't have to worry about who likes you or who don't like you. You know, it's a, uh, it's really about how much you like yourself. But Drake is making a good point in his song when he said a lot of people are living a fake life because they want people to like them. They want people to give them affirmation. And it's something that probably should come from the inside, you know, and that's the part that's really sad. I think a lot of young people your age feel the need to have that affirmation because they need the world to like them. It's yeah, so who would do? I don't. Yeah, I, I know a couple people who do, but yeah, like for instance, like trying to act cool in front of the girl you want to impress, it just, I don't know, it just gets on my nerves because you know if you can speak up a little bit, that gets on my nerves. 
but <laughs> but I think everyone wants to be liked. I guess that's at the most part. Everyone yeah. wants to be liked, and maybe social media is probably not the best way to get likes. You probably should try to get involved with some real life things. Yeah, yeah. Um, don't try too hard. Yeah, don't. If try you try too hard, hard if you try too hard, the girl won't even like you. Then like someone like me just pick her up, you know. <laughs> okay. okay, I don't know how we got to that in a second, but okay. Yeah, but. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, all right. So, so basically, don't try too hard that he will steal her from you. Now, I want to deal specifically with the line where you said, I wasn't hiding my kid from the world. I was hiding the world from my kid. <clears throat> and this is where, you know, I will, I'll speak, you know, from a father perspective. We really want to protect our children from social media, but you know, really, how can we do that in this day and age? Um, I would just say a lot of my biggest fear is that you guys will uh, run into a situation where someone will try to attack you guys or try to get into cyberbullying and that sort of thing. I don't and think if I start to get cyberbullied, I'll um, start blocking people. Yeah, because that's an option. Because it's not people. like. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got cyberbullied, and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, like there's yeah, there's buttons. a block button for a reason. There's a couple unfollow buttons. There's an unfriend button for a reason. I mean, like, but you know what? The main thing, and and yeah, there is block, but you know what? When that information is put out there, it's still out there for the world to see. And I think in Drake particular case, he's a celebrity, and he has to worry about if people don't personally like him, they'll attack his children his child rather i think with myself it's just the biggest fear of trying to protect you guys from a world out here that is really really dangerous and it's like how do i protect you or try to keep some of your innocence in a world where you're going to get information every day that's really the yeah. hardest part I mean, you're like you got to raise them the best you can and trust they do the right thing because you're yeah. parent and they just go against you yeah, and you know what? I want to say something too. Uh, I want to kind of point out that whole idea of Drake hiding his kid from the world. Some Bro. people, some people try to say like black men in particular trying to hide their children from the world because they don't want to be, you know, fathers and that sort of thing. And I don't think that's uh, at all what Drake is trying to do in this particular instance. I think, yeah, the mother of his child. He probably, um, you know, maybe made not, a mistake. Yeah, maybe made a mistake, or maybe, it, and the mistake could be not really being in love with the person that you have a child with, or maybe it's her profession because she is a person that works in an adult film industry and that sort of thing. But I think it's talking about no matter what, he still loves his son. He's still mm-hmm. proud of his son, but he wants to protect his son from being hurt by other people who try to use anything they can to bring you down. You know, that's the main thing that I get for us as, uh, you know, when we talk about fathers, this is what I mean by protecting and that sort of thing. Um, I don't feel the need to run the blogs every time something is going wrong, but can do you guys look to social media sometimes when you uh, guys need guidance or you... Um, you know, feel that has there ever been like a website and that sort of thing that you like, hey, well, I feel more comfortable getting my information here and that sort of thing when it's come to dealing with problems. What problems? Yeah, like, yeah, what problems? It depends what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah, like how to fix the controller. Yeah. yeah, I mean, well, it looks like, well, let's look at the problems that he have here. He said, like, uh, when people try to talk bad about your life and they try to spread rumors, bad, uh, on social media and that sort of thing. What do you guys do in those particular instances? Or do you know any kids, for instance, that have had their lives ruined by rumors that were spread on social media and that sort of thing? I mean, yeah, it happens. Um, yeah, it happens, but, like, if you have one of those good friends that you know it's not true, then that's the only person you need to prove it's not true to. Like, yeah, I, I don't need yeah. to prove anything to anybody. Yeah, you don't... I it, chill by myself. Like, if you don't... If you know it's not true, don't don't even it, it it wouldn't even get to you if you know it's not true. So yeah, I'd chill by myself. Yeah, yeah. Game, keep your habits up. Yeah, whatever. So what keep you're your, saying, for, uh, kids, uh, instead of for, uh, forming relationships on social media, then they need to what interact with real live people. 
I don't know a lot of people that do habits that they know are good yeah. and they want to continue. That they get, you know, do something to get their mind. looking way too into this. It's not yeah. do something productive. Watch YouTube. Or do, something, or, yeah. or do something productive. Like, so you're saying do things that make you happy. You're, so yeah. in other words, your happiness shouldn't come from yeah, like, outside or what's cope, going on there. Cope with something positive, not a negative coping mechanism. Here's what I want fathers to walk away with. And then you guys tell me this. I would say fathers, the main thing that we need to do is to make sure that we're still engaging and talking with our kids every day. Um, we need to do whatever we can to protect our kids. But keep in mind, social media is the wild, wild west. It's wide open. And the best thing that we can do is try not to hide some of these things, but use anything on social media as a teachable moment. So if you know that your kid is uh, feeling uh, or being bullied, I, I think we need to stay connected so much to the point that uh, our kids realize that our happiness does not come from how people view us in the cyber world. The main thing is, I guess the last, we got to deal with the title. He calls the name of this song uh, Emotionless. And I think what Drake is saying in there, he's becoming emotionless to what people are saying about him on the media. <clears throat> and I think he's saying... Like he's saying it's getting old now. Like, you're right. Yes. Or or he's not going to channel enough energy... Into it. Into it, where he's beginning to get his emotions worked up over someone and what they say about him in social media. So I think that's maybe one of the lessons that we can learn from the song it's like it's we can have emotions but we shouldn't allow what's going on in social media and that sort of thing to affect us. he was saying our emotions should be connected to the people who we love who's close to us rather than what's going on in the outside world you yep. Uh, if you need help on how to deal with cyberbullying, we want to make sure that you guys have that information too. And I'll go ahead and uh, drop that down in the link. And I'll also give you guys in the link some uh, scholars and researchers who work on preventing uh, cyberbullying. And I think that's definitely a very important topic that we have to pay attention to.